Houston. Growing up in an aviation family has a significant impact on children. For 35th Fighter Squadron or Pantons, these pilots are no different. Well, as long as it's not as cold. because. It one airman, from the time she was a small girl, wanted to serve her country and fly. I grew up kind of surrounded by aviation my entire life. Um, I would say that I, I probably grew up with the blood to fly, um, just because people in my family, uh, close friends and everything, did a lot of flying, so I had a lot of exposure to it. So that was initially why I wanted to fly. Getting to fly F-16s is very competitive, and she knows she did not get here alone. There's a larger community of female fighter pilots nowadays, and it's awesome. It's a community within itself, basically. And um, it's, uh, it's awesome because you have somebody that set the precedent and someone that I can follow in their footsteps and ask questions and, and learn from them. Uh, so I feel very fortunate that there have been several before me. Women's History Month is the perfect time to learn about the first women Air Force pilots, Jackie Cochran and Nancy Love. I think what's coolest about their stories is they pursued aviation their entire life and even though they were shut down at different avenues of joining the services, so it was just awesome to see that they really ended up intertwining women in aviation and especially military aviation with the WASPs and the WAFs and the other female service pilots, which is just an incredible part of our history. Carrying on the Pantons push it up motto, Lieutenant Kotnick continues the rich tradition of women aviators as she defends the base. Sergeant Lauren Massey, Kunsan Air Base, Korea.